Was it a matter for months? Yeah, crowd control. It's all right, love. It's all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right, kids, off you go. There's nothing to see. shouldn't take kids like this back into the system. It puts teachers like Catherine at risk, leaves us to pick up the pieces when it all goes wrong. There you go. Yeah, that's him. Still angry. Around that way. Ross Trescott, go for me! I'm arresting you for assault. Go if you do not say anything, but it may harm your defence, if you do not mention when questioned something no. which you later rely on in court. Oh, I'll take it easy, bud. Here we go. Your mum's on her way in, huh? You what? Oh, well, she's called her for the interview. I don't want her here. But, mate, you've got no choice. Ross, come here. This officer will take you up to the interview room. Don't say I'll never give you anything. Where'd you get this? I was just checking through the pigeonholes. What's the little monster have to say for himself? I was not happy about his mum coming in. Didums. You should have thought about that before he hit his teacher. Now, Ross, we've arrested you because your teacher, Miss Lambert, has made an allegation of assault against you. Well, is it true? I suppose so. <sighs> this is what I have to put up with. You punched a teacher? What's got into you? Maybe we can go over what happened in the build-up to the punch. Try and find out why you did it. I'll tell you why he did it. He's out of control. Shut up! Why don't you tell us, in your own words, the events that are leading up to you punching Miss Lambert? I don't mean to. Oh, here we go. Tripped over, did you? Accidentally landed with your fist in her face. This is Trescott. No. Well, what then? Don't you ever learn? You've already been excluded from one school, and now you're going to get chucked out again. What is wrong with you? Nothing. It wasn't my fault it happened. I only punched Miss Lambert because she hit me first. When all the other kids are gone, Miss Lambert told me to stay behind. She said she wanted to talk to me about my behaviour or something, but I ain't even been mucking about. You do muck about, Ross. The school's already told me that. But I didn't muck about today. But we just want to know about this morning. She got you to stay behind. Start telling me I was stupid. Go on. She was giving it all this stuff about me not working, holding back the others. Saying I'm thick and should be moved out of the year below. She was dead worked up. She said I was a waste of space. Is this true? Mum, I swear. You did nothing at all to provoke this. You heard him. She was bullying him, insulting him. So how did Miss Lambert get her busted lip? Well, she was dead angry. I tried to walk away, but then she just grabbed me and started pulling me across the room. And she was shouting at me. And? I tried to pull myself free, and that's when she slapped me. Well, I was scared. I didn't know what to do, so I hit her back. And that's when I ran out of the room. Well? PC Casper and myself saw your son running away from the scene. And now he's told you his side, you should take another look. This woman lost control. He knows better than to lie to me. Look, if you don't believe me, take a look at this. She was dragging me across the room. Oh, that's it. I'm going to make a complaint to the school. Thought I'd find you here. What do you want? I want to check you're okay. 
Your mum gave you a bit of hard time in the interview. She was all right. Yeah, pretty much. Scary, isn't it? Getting arrested. I don't really understand all that bail stuff. What happens next? That's well, kind of up to you. Do you know what'll happen if your mum decides to make a complaint against Miss Lambert? She'll get arrested, same as me. I doubt if it would ever get that far. You'll have already been interviewed by the school, and who do you think they're going to believe? You or Miss Lambert? And by the child protection team, who are experts at getting the truth out of kids? You'll have well crumbled by them, mate. Yeah, well, how do you think I've done this? I don't know. But I'm guessing off the wire from the fences you ran away this morning. I mean... If it come to it, no doubt they'd want to examine the wire and see if they could get a DNA sample. Ross, this is important. It's a massive thing for a teacher to be accused of assaulting a pupil. They'll suspend her while they investigate. But she'll be devastated. Don't shrug. I think you do care. So do yourself a big favour and tell the truth. Yeah, well, Mum believes me. What happens if they find out you're lying? What will she say then? Come back to the station, make a new statement. Your Mum don't need to be there. I'll arrange for someone else to sit in. Oh, I told you it'd be him. Is he ever not causing trouble? He can't! Uh did you? Yeah, all right, look, will you calm down? Look, tell me what the matter is. Did your mum have a gate for changing the state? I don't know yet. I don't know what? I've been expelled, did not And I'm thinking maybe we should go easy with this. On oh, Ross Trescott, why? Well, I've got a history with him. He attacked that teacher. He's pretty volatile. Yeah, and he should have been done for it. I mean, do you think it's okay to set a fire? No. No. That kid just wants attention. He's going to get it. Ross, can we have a word, please? We just want to talk. Oscar from 48 receiving over. Go ahead, Sergeant. I want to report a rape. Okay. Ross, where were you from 3:30 p.m. to 7 p.m. today? I was at home and I went out. Went out? Where'd you go? We've got a witness who states they saw you on the later Marsh estate, setting fire to a mattress at 3.45. We also have several witnesses on the estate who say they saw you with Sergeant Ackland on Goldstone Road, near the top of the alley, later at around 6.15. Ross, 20 minutes after that, we've got a call from Sergeant Ackland saying she's been raped. She's identified you as her attacker. She's lying. Of course she's lying. Don't interrupt, please. How do you explain us finding Sergeant Ackland's warrant card in your den at the industrial estate? You just want him in a young offender's place. You'd do anything to get him sent there. Would it make any difference? What? 
You hardly spend any time with them as it is. How do you know how much? Mrs. Trescott, I've asked you before. Don't interrupt the interview. Ross, I'm going to give you another chance, okay? Where were you between 3.30 p.m. and 7 p.m. today? I was on the estate, but I never started a fire. So you admit been on the Leighton Marsh estate at 3.45? Well, I live on the estate. Did you see the fire? Yeah. Did you also see the two police officers who were on the estate at the time? I saw the fire and I left. Why? Probably because he knows you're blaming for it. We live on the estate. Of course people saw him. Mrs. Trescott, if you don't stop interrupting, I'm going to have to remove you. Ross, could you just tell us where Who you were? Who were you with? He can speak for himself. I want a fag. Tough. I said I want a cigarette. How long are you going to keep us here? Interview suspended at 1938. He's 13 years old. He's not smoking on police premises. He told me that this is what I wanted. He told me that I was asking for it. Why does a 13-year-old child come out with something like that? Where does that come from? Couldn't give us a minute, could you, Mike? Your mum hasn't half got a gobber, no? She always liked that. She don't listen. And what do you do when someone doesn't listen? No use talking if someone doesn't listen. You have to do something, don't you? Was Sergeant Atman giving it all that? Look, mate, I know the woman. Whatever you were saying, she wasn't listening, am I right? Do you like your life, Ross? Is that why you make things up? Because I can tell you right now, it doesn't work. Telling yourself. Telling other people's stories. You just tie yourself up in nuts. Thing is, we know what happened. And you know what happened. I don't care what your mum's saying. But the biggest favour you can do yourself is to tell the truth. Interview with Ross Trescott resumes at 19.58. Present, RPC Kent and DC Sim. Ross, I want to say this to you one more time. I want you to listen to me, right? We have three sightings of you on a Leighton Marsh around six o'clock. We have a police officer, aside from the victim, who saw you on the estate half an hour before the rape took place. We also have physical evidence that places you at the scene. Doesn't mean I raped her. What? You try to get her off me. What are you talking about? Are you suggesting that Sergeant Ackland molested you? Well? It wasn't my fault. She was coming after me. She wanted to be a complete him. idiot. This is Trescott. Ray was here, he'd throttle you. Why'd you always have to bring Ray into him? He's dead. Because he's the only one you'd listen to. Right, I'm terminating the interview. Listen to him? He broke my arm. That's what you deserved after you trashed his whole house. He looked after you for three years. Just get him out of here, please, Gabriel. Come on, Oss. Come with me. Oi! Where the hell are you taking him to? I resume the interview tomorrow with someone else who's an appropriate adult. No. If you're interrogating him like this, I want to be here. It's not possible. What you're saying is ridiculous. He's barely even a teenager. He's never had a girlfriend. Shut your face. You don't know nothing about me. You're my son. Shut up! No. Who is going to speak for you if I'm not here? Do you want to know something about Ray? About your brother? He was a nonce. What? He liked little kids, Mum. He liked me. You're a liar. You're a filthy, dirty, disgusting little liar. You what? You're a liar. What? Ross, Ross, let it go. Get off. Sit, let it go. Get off. 
Get him to a doctor now. Now! 